Welcome to Liquid Automation's Tips and Tricks video series. Today we're going to go over the connection and communication with the NX1P2. On our website, we have a Tech Connect available for this video as well. It has a step-by-step -step procedure and the wiring diagrams. Today I will be using one of our demos. It is wired as shown. Please follow the wiring diagram for your components or refer to the manual. The next step is to check that all of our dip switches are set correctly. You can open the door on the front of the CPU with a small screwdriver. They should all be set to off. Now we're going to change the network settings of the PC that will be used to connect to the PLC. Go to the Control Panel, Network and Sharing Center, Change Adapter Settings, Ethernet. Click on Internet Protocol Version 4. The next few steps will show you how to add an IP address for your computer to look for so that you can be using multiple at the same time. This will let you stay on the internet or your company's network and also connect to the PLC. Now we're ready to open a new project for an NX1P2. Once you do that, go ahead and go to Controller, Communication Settings so we can set up how we want to communicate with the CPU. If you're going to be connecting to the CPU multiple ways, click the Last Selection method. This will let you pick the variety of options you'll be using so SysMac Studio can check for each one when you go online. Type in the IP address. It's 192.168.250.1. That is the default IP address for all Omron PLCs. You can also use this window to test your connection. Now we're going to go online with the controller by going to the controller menu online. It's going to pop up with an error saying that I have an incorrect version. This can easily be changed by going and right clicking on the CPU and making the version changes and hitting OK. You can also change the PLC type this way if that error pops up. Now I'm going to go online and it's going to ask me a couple of questions and it's going to tell me that the name of my CPU doesn't match the project name and you could choose to change it or not. It will not affect the project if you're just beginning. Now we are going to go offline and change the default IP to whatever you want it to be for your project. In the MultiView Explorer, under Configuration and Setup, open the built-in Ethernet IP port settings. Change the IP address from default. Be sure it still matches your computer subnet. To save this new IP address to the CPU, we have to transfer the program to the PLC. You can do this under Controller, Transfer to PLC. The transfer process will walk through some questions, most importantly asking if it is safe to stop the CPU to transfer the program. In the bottom right hand window, the controller status is displayed. During the IP address change process, the controller will briefly be put into an error state when it notices that the IP address does not match. When the transfer is complete, it'll change back to green. All right, so that is how you change your IP address on an NX1P2. If you have any questions, please email us at technical at liquidautomation.com. Thanks for watching.